So here it is, the brand new Westwood T1600 lawn tractor. Obviously, by the model name, it's 16 horsepower. Look in there. It's got a Kawasaki FS 481V engine. Which is more power than it needs, it's a very big engine for it. And then it's got 7 litre fuel tank. And there's the fuse box in there. Go around here. And then you'll see oil filter, oil drain plug, dipstick and where you fill the oil in. Fill it up from. It's a V twin engine, so it's two cylinder. And down here is the solenoid. And underneath here, underneath this cap. Is the air filter, which is foam and paper. It just needs cleaning out now and then. That just locks back on there. Obviously, batteries here. And then go around to the other side again. And you'll see there's a fuel filter just here, which goes to the fuel pump, which is there obviously down into the carburetor and a few other wires, kill switches and stuff so that's pretty much in the engine compartment obviously the exhaust is down there don't know if you can see it don't know if you could see it or not but it is under there now, from the driver's view very neat dashboard so basically, you start off with your choke, if you start from cold, that just pulls up. And then, revs to the top, and you turn the key. Wait for that to all boot up. And then, it's just a start button there. You push that down. Obviously, I've already had it running, because I've brought it down here, so it won't need choke when I start up. But it has got some very nice features, uh, for example the electromagnetic clutch for the blades, so you just push a button and the blades start instead of a lever down the side, which is what some of the smaller and older models have. Um, light switch here, um, and then this, it's got all these digital display, so it's only done two hours. Uh, it came out of the factory three days ago, <laughs> only three days old. Um, Yes, yeah, so two hours, you won't see it that low again. The P just means that the parking brake's on. You see now that I've taken it off, so it's just flashing. Put it back on again. You can't start it with the parking brake off, it has to be always on. And then uh, this is your deck height, so whenever you change your deck height, it'll show you what, what number you're on, which is a good feature. And then there's the bigger models, which this isn't uh, like the four wheel drive one, tells you what degree slope you're on, so it'd say. 23 degrees or something, and then I think if you get to 25, then uh, it will flash and give you a sound or something to say that you you're tipping over too much or something, which is a good feature for safety. But I'm not actually too sure what all that's about because I don't know if it replaces your your revs. Because when the engine's running, where the hour meter is, it turns into your rev meter, which is also handy because you need to know what what revs your PTO is doing and stuff for your sweeper. This uh, lawnmower, I'll just turn it off. This lawnmower doesn't does come with the sweeper, but I've taken it off for now because I had a trailer attached to it. Um, but yeah, it just goes onto the hitch here and here, and then that comes up, and then you put your PTO belt on there, which is it's very simple and it's very well designed. Um, yeah, 20 inch rear wheels, and obviously the deck which is a combi deck so you can use it for mulching or um, just normal cutting and then you, it comes out the back and then you can pick it up the sweeper and then 15 inch front tyres as well and then there's a tow bar down here which comes standard 
but then I, you can buy a um, towing ball for a car trailer or something. And then there's the gearbox under there, which is a very nice one. And underneath the seat, uh, my little toolbox, which just slots in there, which is which comes standard, but I've put some just some basic tools in there, like spanners and screwdrivers and rope if it gets stuck or anything. So yeah, that's under the seat. And then this is the deck height lever, so it changes the deck. Just push that down and up forwards obviously and backwards and then PTO engagement here so if you've got anything on the back you just engage that and it will start it up normally the sweep but I haven't got anything at the moment I'd like to have the powered scarifier though because that's quite good uh, the chicken doesn't come with it <laughs> um, yeah this side parking brake and drinks holder drinks holder is good um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I will show you another video of the um, sweeper attached and working and everything. Possibly an in inside shot of it when the sweeper's going around and flicking up grass and stuff. So that'll probably be quite interesting. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. So there we have it. A three day old Westwood T1600 hydrostatic drive V twin engine Kawasaki. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe.